small town, well, it's not small, but it's a city in uh, Canada called Sarnia. And uh, there's also, uh, you know, a few famous people from Sarnia. Uh, Dino Cicerelli from the Red Wings. <laughs> <laughs> the mother from the television show Webster. Oh. And an astronaut by the name of Chris Hadfield. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Um, he's on our $5 bill. It's kind of cool. Um, and we became friends because someone asked me to write a song for his space mission, his second space mission. So I wrote a song called Christopher, which appeared on my Juno losing album, Asian Blue. <laughs> the Juno is the Canadian Grammy. I lost it to Avril Lavigne. It's okay. It's all right. Um, and then, so when Chris became commander of the space station in 2013, he asked me to collaborate on some music and I had already had this job singing with David Bowie. Didn't sound like that. Um, and uh, he said, I want to do Space Oddity, and I tried to talk him out of it, but he wanted to do it, do it anyway, so I came up with this for him. You know, I just kind of thought it sounded like space. <laughs> Sevenths. And then I... I did all the chords for the song, and I sent it to him in space. <laughs> That's the sound of it going up. <laughs> and everything had to go through Houston if you send emails and things like that. So he got it, and he sang on it, and his voice was so beautiful. You know, um, I often joke he should just shoot himself back up there to do <laughs> his singing, because it sounds so gorgeous. Anyway, um, so he sang on it, and then sent it back and I thought it should have drums and bass and guitars and everything on it. So I asked a friend of mine, Joe Corcoran, who lives in LA, to put all those things on it. And uh, for some reason, Chris really wanted David Bowie's blessing, so me being the link between s space and earth, <laughs> um, I asked David uh, to listen to it and because, you know, he's, he was kind of busy, he didn't really get back to me. And then, Chris was only in space for one more month, so I wrote this email. And I said, the subject line was, one month left in orbit. And then, I guess that got his attention, because he CC'd his whole team. And, he's, and the first line of his email was, how can we help the astral man? <laughs> and... He uh, ended up hearing it and loving it, and then Chris shot this video of himself in space singing the song, and apparently there are no stylists in space because he just wore his white sport socks. <laughs> anyway, um, it became the first music video ever shot in space. Yeah! And uh, I was pretty happy to be a part of that, and um, I know when David Bowie passed away, it was, uh, it made me think about that, you know, I know David really loved that someone sang his song in space. So, um, I'll play you a 